Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to answer the question, what is quantitative finance? In general, quantitative finance is the design and implementation of mathematical models that are used for pricing assets, including derivative products, um, assessing risk, and predicting market moves. And this is important for banks because banks consistently take risk by making loans or buying assets, and they want some return for that risk. And so... Uh, quantitative finance helps to do that, but not in the traditional way of finance. So traditional finance is comprised of business people with MBAs, uh, BBAs, uh, a variety of other backgrounds. You know, you have a business degree. Uh, business finance is much different than quantitative finance. Business finance is more based on financial theory and time value of money. Um, it's much more, I guess, artistic in the fact that you spend time looking at companies um, analyzing their like their accounting, their 10Ks, you know, and trying to figure out what their cash flows are going to be in the future. And usually it's based on like very simplistic models, uh, mainly finance, and then looking at future, you know, events that could occur. Like maybe there's a merger coming up. Uh, quantitative finance is not the same. Um, to do quantitative finance, you need a degree in mathematics, statistics, and technology as well as finance on the, you have to know financial theory as well. Um, the reason quantitative finance is important is because it looks at finance much more in a scientific kind of perspective. Um, this is realistically like the scientific revolution, right? This is changing finance. Uh, finance used to be ran by purely business people with finance and accounting backgrounds. Uh, now this is changing. We are implementing technology and we're building more complex models they can do computations in a computer that would take, you know, like days, weeks, months, long, long periods of time for somebody to do it by hand. And so implementing technology with these new models is very, very important. Uh, some things such as financial derivatives, which is more or less buying and selling the right to do something and not necessarily a hard asset itself, uh, can't be priced with just basic, basic time value of money, um, it doesn't take into consideration, you know, oh, what do I think and feel about this stock? Do I think there's going to be this, you know, this merger occurring, right? Some of that financial theory can be thought about at the end of the day, but in reality, when you compute these derivative products, it's much more complex. Um, so we need math. We need computers to help us because we can't do it on our own. Um, this is also important with quantitative finance because banking has gotten very competitive, especially with the last financial crisis bank margins are very, very small. And so banks need to be able to take um, strategies and theories on banking and they need to mass produce these. And so automation is crucial on how we build models, um, how we implement different programs and procedures. And so technology is needed for these. So for banks to stay competitive and to make money, they need quants, as we're called. People with quantitative skills and backgrounds, especially those with programming, mathematics, and a little bit of finance, you know, it helps to be able to automate these systems and make banks more efficient and more productive. So that's really what a financial, you know, computational finance person does. We build models. Um, these models help uh, to make, de help decision makers to make decisions. You still need a background in finance. Uh, strongly, in my opinion, even if you're a really, really good quant, you really should focus on finance. However, the quantitative side is very important. Um, it is changing the way finance is kind of turning out. And I would recommend many of you, if you're considering going into finance, to look at quantitative finance. However, the skill set is much different than a business degree. So that's really what financial uh, engineering is or computational finance. It's pricing of complex products using mathematics. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, don't forget to like and share. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.